Always a controversial subject in the sport of gymnastics, of course, is the judging. What is a perfect 10? Is it perfect or is it just the best performance of the day? Well, the score is currently, and the, certainly the new rules, are allowing for lots of separations among the gymnasts. A 9-9 can now be beaten by eight other gymnasts because the scores now divide out to 125 ten thousandths of a point. The scoring, of course, and the judging has always been very controversial, and, and certainly uh, Muriel Grossfeld as a three-time Olympian and now an internationally rated judge. Your thoughts, first of all, on the scoring in Seoul? I agreed with some of it, and I violently disagreed with some of the other of it. Well, there was a lot of talk about a need for new rules and rules changes. That has been done. The United States has, I think, through Jackie Five, provided a lot of leadership in trying to make things more exact. We now have special requirements for each of the gymnastics events with a specific deduction. We now have many, many more skills listed with precise points that we award to them. We have more judges on the floor. Um, she's provided, I think, very good leadership in trying to make the sport a little more fair. And with that in mind, let's look back to some tape from Seoul. This is Yelena Shushinova, the brilliant Olympic all-around champion. Score this vault. Uh, somewhere between 9.8 and 9.9, approximately. Once again, when we take a look at it, uh, your technical comments on it. Uh, in the beginning of the vault, we can see a little bit of a lack of form. We can see a little casting to her left. We can see a little off balance on the landing, so it's not totally unbalanced, and we can see her listing back to her right. Okay, now to uh, complete this train of thought, she scored a perfect 10 on that in Seoul. Thank you. Yes? What are we gonna do about that? Are 10s perfect? I don't think the meaning of a 10 means that you're saying perfection. I think a 10 is one of the tools that we use to rank gymnasts. I think a perfect example is to go back to the original Big Ten, which was Nadia Kamenich on uneven bars back in Montreal in the 76 Olympics. Based on the competitor's scores previous to Nadia, Nadia I thought she should have gotten about a 10-3 or 4 or 5. But there were three very big flaws in that exercise. The 10 represented a ranking, not a perfection. So the ranking is the most important element, not necessarily the perfect score. I would like, as a judge, to be able to perform both services, but when that isn't practical or possible, the most important thing is to rank the gymnast properly. Thank you, Muriel.